my name's Jan Young. I am a foster carer for Gateshead. Hi, I'm Jill Little. I'm the service manager for Looked After Children with responsibility for corporate parenting. Hello, my name is Ben Van Wachtendonk and I'm one of the team managers in the Children and Young People's team in Gateshead. Hello, uh, my name is Susie. I'm the therapeutic social worker for Gateshead Council. Life story work for me is very different for all three boys. What I tend to do is keep things that I know are going to be important to them when they get older. Certificates from school, pictures that they do at school, the first time we went to a live concert, kept the tickets. I tend to keep them myself just in case sometimes the boys get a little bit angry and they might not look after them the way I'd like them to. I think it's really important just to, just to keep the simple things, to keep the small things that you think aren't going to matter but will. Gateshead Council have decided to roll out the creative life story work for all our looked after children. There are often lots of unanswered questions and as they become adults they want to know those answers and come back to us as a council and try and get those answers from their records and from their files. By being part of this process they will be able to understand that at a very early age and have the answers that they need to enable them to make sense of their lives. When I first came back to work for Gateshead in 2019 one of the things that was uh, identified by Ofsted was that we don't consistently offer all of our cared for children and young people um, support around understanding their journeys and their life stories and life histories. I think our foster carers do a great job in supporting us with that, but what we wanted to do was to make sure that every child and young person in Gateshead has outstanding support around their life histories, and this project is a way of us being able to do that. Sometimes the boys will just shut off. If, if you ask them a direct question, they'll just close down and they don't want to know and they'll brush it aside. People don't want to talk about painful things. We want to squash it down and we want to forget about it. Everybody does. We sometimes don't really want to have those difficult conversations because we're, I guess, afraid that that'll st stir up for them a lot of really difficult feelings and emotions. It's almost like having a, a spelk in our thumb. If we, we leave it and we, we don't touch it, we don't think about it, it's not going to bother us unless we accidentally knock it or, or somebody pushes it. It's about getting that out. You know, we're really going to dig that out and that is going to hurt. But once it's gone, it's gone and the children can begin to start to really heal from that. One of my concerns is about how we manage those concerns of the foster carers and also the children and young people in a way that keeps them safe. I think working with an artist is a lot calmer and a less direct. If it's very gentle and something fun, they're more open, they're more likely to talk and they're more likely to be honest about how they're feeling. I am most looking forward to actually getting into the creative sessions, um, meeting the artists and meeting the young people who we'll be working with, getting a little bit creative um, and a little bit messy. We're looking at the support that we're offering alongside the creative life experience work, that there are additional bits of support that we can offer children and young people if they require that. My role as a therapeutic social worker is to be on hand to offer additional support for, um, for example, consultations with foster carers or one-on-one -on -one direct work with, with children where maybe some further questions or, or difficulties have, have arisen from the programme. All staff will be trained to understand why life story is important to our young people. It will enable the staff to feel more confident in their approaches, that they will have a range of tools and techniques that they can use with the young people. But also make sure that this change is sustainable and that it isn't just a project that lasts you know, for 12 months, but that, that this is work that we continue with in Gateshead. A lot of our social work staff and foster carers um, and other support workers work in very stressful environments and their work can be really difficult and I think at times Sometimes we're all guilty of losing sight of why we do what we do. So my hope is that this training will make our staff teams feel re-energised and refocused about what's important in social work practice and in their practice with children and young people. And that really is about working with children and young people to understand their life histories, to make changes to their lives, to think positively about their futures, um, but also to give them a sense of belonging and identity.